Hey everyone, it's Dragon Fireflies. This is my Hecate Ultra Update. So, um, as usual, there's the dream catcher up here with the black and white skull beads that I prayer beads that I made for her there. Um, there's the granite pillar and the move out of the way. The black skull jug here. Um, a lot has changed, actually, uh, especially one of the biggest things that has changed is the Ulta Cloth is now the solid black with the purple. I'm trying to get in the light. It's actually a lighter purple than this, but, you know, lighting is horrible. Um, purple scarf running across. Um, and the next thing that has changed is the candle holders. You can't even see. Hold on. The lighting is really horrible, so... Okay, maybe this will kind of help. So the candle holders are now different. They look like this one now, or like these now, so yeah. With her black tapers there. And then the obsidian heart that I got from my haul is actually sitting next to this one, and it's upside down because I can't get it to stay standing up right side up, so it's gonna sit right here upside down. And then to cancer balance that is the purple dragon's egg seer stone here. Um, I took all the amethyst and garlic off of this because I really wanted the, uh, crow raven thing right here in the center of the offering dish to be seen. So then there's her wheel and a little piece of amethyst there. And then, of course, there's her dish with all the stones around it. And there's some stones in the back and you can't see. But, yeah. Uh, with the herbal blend that I got from Joy Morris, from Star Ed Supplies, and then her candle. And, yeah. So then the back hasn't really changed because there's offering dish and then there's my dish with, um, with the Dark Goddess Blessing Salt that I also got from Jordan Morris and my Amethyst Pendulum is sitting in there at the moment. So then there is Larry with um, a bloodstone next to him and then over here is Jack with a bloodstone next to him. So this one I just heard my cat meowing. Alright, so then there is my smoky quartz point over here, and then my other smoky quartz point over there, then the skeleton key, and the other skeleton key, and then there's the hematite, and the other hematite, and then uh, there's her cauldron, and inside of the cauldron is my rough piece of tourmaline, because the symbolism of a cauldron, like, there's already magic surrounding that, but then I think the tourmaline adds more of a crone aspect to the cauldron, um, just cause like the black flames, the, just the crone stirring the cauldron is actually one of the aspects as Hecate is seen as. I personally don't see her as a crone, but, um, I do see her as the dark mother crone aspect of the goddess. It's kind of weird, but that's how I see her. And then there is my new carnelian skull, which I'm going to kind of, yeah, it's fuzzily. Yeah. So this is Sam. And then that skull over here, focus. The skull is Jack, and the one over here on the main altar is Carl. So if you hear me, um, did I call this one Jack? That's Larry. Yeah, Sam, Larry, Carl's over there. This one's Jack. Okay. I don't know if I said that wrong or not. And then there's a bone that I got from Hogback Ridge uh, one I, that I found out in the woods. So yeah. That's all actually for her altar, and then, oh, come on, focus, come on camera, focus, no, why are you not focusing, okay, and then on the god and goddess candle holders, I put the sunstone and the moonstone there, so yeah, and then I'm actually burning some of my new Nag Champa incense, I couldn't resist not burning it. I opened up the package, and I smelled it, I'm just like, holy shit, Nag Champa, yes! So, yeah. Mmm, Nag Champa, okay. So, yeah, there's that. And that's about it, actually. Um, so, all the other pictures and stuff from Gettysburg and from the Chocolate Factory are on my Facebook page. So if you guys want to go see, oh, I didn't even mention her candle. It was a candle that I made for her a while ago. Come on, focus. Yeah. And that's counterbalancing the uh, skull. So, come on, camera, focus. Stop being a dick and focus. 
focus, come on. Okay. So, all of the um, pictures and stuff from Teddy Spring and the Chocolate Factory are on my Facebook page if you guys want to go see those. And there's also a video from the Chocolate Factory with all the singing cows. So, yeah. Um, so, go like my Facebook page. Uh, it's the same name as my YouTube name. And, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and goodbye, and blessed be.